No, God, please, no! Are you ready for an adrenaline pumping adventure? Hello everybody, my name is Sergio, welcome back to another episode of the best PowerPoint games. And today I'm gonna give you a taste of what's coming from my 4-in-1 PowerPoint game combo. So this Volcanic Rush. Volcanic Rush is a thrilling game for two to four players. The goal is very simple to be the first to reach the finish line without getting caught in a fiery eruption. There are two exciting ways to play. Option 1. Classic mode. In the classic mode, you need to spin the spinner, move forward and avoid the red lava spaces. The first player to reach the finish line wins. To move the characters, to move the tokens right here, we need to press on these images next to the spinner. So let's press on the yellow character, yellow gnome. Hey, if you're still watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. All my PowerPoint games are yours to download for free. Just check out the link in the description below. Let's put this yellow gnome on a red space. If you're gonna get a volcano on a spinner, then you press on a gnome and his character goes back to the ship. But if you land on a space number seven, red space, and you press on this character, then the character will reappear on a number three space. It will not go back to the ship yet, unless you're gonna get another volcano on a spinner and then it will take you back to the ship. You press on a character to go back. Number 12 space will take you back to the 7 and 7 to the 3rd space and back to the ship. And Super Volcano will take you straight to the ship, to the starting line. Option 2, Firefly Frenzy. It goes the same way, you need to spin the spinner and let's get a number, let's say number 4 and press the same character, move forward. But now, on a green space, you see here we have questions, question marks. So when a character lands on a green space with a question mark, you press on a firefly with a question mark. It will take you to this slide with letters. A player needs to select a letter, press on any letter and some of the letters will have penalties or rewards. In this case, I've got lose a turn. So it's a penalty, you answer a question, go back and so on. But let's see what else we've got behind the fireflies, behind the letters. By the way, you press on the question box to hide the question box. So here, move two steps forward and no questions. That means when we go back, we press on a character one, two, because the character lands on a, again, on a green space with a question mark, but now you don't need to answer questions. So next player will take their turn and so on. Now, let me show you how to modify the questions. So the questions are right here. You press on a question mark here and type your own question and then save the PowerPoint and you got to go. But you only modified only one question. Now, if we move this question box down, you're gonna find all other question boxes for other letters. You modify them, save the PowerPoint, and that's it. You also can do like this. You go to Shape Format, then Selection Pane, and then you can just hide the question box, write the question, hide and write another question in another question box and then reopen 
the question boxes, say the PowerPoint, and that's it. In case you would like to mix the letters, you can select the letter and type a different letter instead. Or, even better, you can just type numbers instead of letters and this way you can mix them up. Also, if you would like to move the letter and the firefly, you need to select them both and move to another place. Then the save the PowerPoint and that's it. This game was from one of my subscribers. If you want more free PowerPoint games, hit subscribe, give a like and share to help the YouTube algorithm so I can make more free PowerPoint games for you. I hope you have an incredible day. I'll see you in my next video. Peace. Let's turn zero, feel the groove non-stop.